Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you, because I know sometimes we don't do MTG Finance as much as you guys would like, so I will give you some, again, this is just my opinion, I don't want people to come in and say, oh, blah, 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 say this, so and so said this, and they, you know, said that you're not an expert, I'm not an expert, I don't know who's an expert in MTG Finance, I don't even know who would want to be called an expert in MTG Finance, but I'm saving, so as a person who has money, who can buy magic cards, I'm saving most of my money for either Magic Origins, which I have to look at and hopefully there's good cards in it. We only know that Liliana is in it. Modern Masters 2015, which we know that Tamagoyf and Karn Liberated are in it, as well as uh, Emicol. So we're looking at some pretty good cards in that set already. And the Back to Zendikar. So a lot of times, the best when people do MTG Finance, MTG Budgeting, whatever you want to call it, the best way to make a collection or to finance your collection is to not buy sets that are bad in comparison to what's coming out. So if you believe Dragons are Tarkir is not as good as a Origins, a Magic Origins, which is coming out this summer, or a Ma Modern Masters 2, 2015, which is coming out again this summer, or a Return to Zendikar, which is coming out this fall, you should save your money for those new, those sets that are going to be good, that are going to be have higher value. When I look at Dragons of Tarkir, again, I don't want to say it's a bad set, because it's a perfect set if you're a casual kitchen table player, it's just not a good set if you want to make money from it. Or, I shouldn't say make money, or get your money back via trading. And a lot of the cards, I mean, I don't know that there's not that many cards in Dragon's Tark here I would trade Fetchlands for equal value. I can just point blank say that to you. So when you're looking at a Return to Zendikar, or a Modern Masters, or a Magic Origins, which Magic Origins looks fantastic, by the way. And I know we only saw Liliana, but I mean, I'm expecting four more Planeswalkers like that. So that would be pretty epic. And you need to save your money. Like, I know it's easy to get hyped up and buy a place out in Narset for, for what was it, 200 bucks? Nope, nope. 200 bucks can buy you, uh, assuming that you can get it MSRP, 10 packs of Modern Masters 2015, which is a lot better than a playset or Narset at this particular moment. Or, you know, let's say you buy a playset of Saucon, whatever he is called, Saucon Unbroken. You buy a playset of this card or that card or this card. Essentially, at in the very beginning, when you're buying boxes to get cards, you have to realize you can buy boxes of other sets in the future if you save money. So I sound like seeing and money like it was like oh you gotta save money and stuff no that's not what i'm saying i'm saying is you can you will kick yourself if you buy a set that you don't need right now if you buy a box you don't need right now because once it comes modern masters 2015 and when you need more money you're not going to have it because you spent it all on dragons of tarkir dragon tarkir fun set but when it comes down to value i mean Modern Masters 2015, all I know about it, Tomogorf is in it. Pulling a Tomogorf can get you back all your value that you spent on those 20 packs, right? So yes, you're not going to pull a Tomogorf all the time, but there's the potential to get your money back. For you to get your money back from, let's say you buy two boxes of Dragons of Tarkir, and there's a lot of bulk in Dragons of Tarkir. For you to buy, get your money back, you have to pull four Narsets, and that's at retail. Four Mythics of the same type, Planeswalker. For you to get your money back from, let's say, a booster box of Modern Masters 2015, you guys just gotta pull, pull a Tomogoyf. Or you can pull a Emoko, a Card Liberated, and then XYZ, which is also worth $50. So there are options. I just don't see... I don't see Dragons of Tarkir as a set that will, in particular, hold its value very well. I see it as a set that is, there will be some cards that are very good that we don't know of right now. There will be some cards that will go up in price, a lot. 
but I don't see it from the perspective of you buying boxes, cases, as quite as valuable as even cons of Tarkir. So if you're playing standard or you want to buy a standard box, I think cons of Tarkir, in my opinion, are a lot better because those fetch lands, they can, you can trade them for pretty much anything down the road and they're not going to really lose their value that much. But a Narset, I mean, love Narset, don't get me wrong, I love that card. 50 bucks right now. <laughs> Yikes. If you look at all the value of this particular set is kind of in its mythics. And even the value in its mythics, it frightens me a little bit because I don't see those cards being played in modern very much. And in my opinion, I've always had the I've always said this from the very beginning, even my other channel. I look for cards that have are on power level to modern. So a Rhino, that's an interesting card because it's seeing play in modern. But the card has to have some other utility, especially a card in Dragons of Tarkir where the rotation is even earlier than it normally would be. And I don't I don't see Compared to Zendikar, compared to Modern Masters, compared to Magic Origins, I don't see why you would spend your money on Dragons of Tarkir if you only had X amount of money to spend across those four sets. Which, in my opinion, that's what I'm currently looking at right now. Bye, guys.